Hi, I'm Autumn. Today we are going to be talking about the Glock 44. That's actually the 19. This is the Glock 44. I'm so sorry. Um, that's why it felt so heavy. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. It's a lot different. This is, uh, the Glock 44 is super lightweight compared to the 19, the same same size as They're it. the exact same diameter. How long have we had this gun? Two weeks and uh, about we've two been weeks. about two weeks and we've been shooting it a lot. And I really like it so far. We uh, have been shooting two rounds, reload one round, and it's been really fun. Ready? Ready. Six. I'm getting better at my um talking. Yeah, working the slide. Yeah, yeah, working the slide. It's pretty hard. Locked open. Locked open, but locks open on empty mag. Yeah, so that's one thing about it. The it has the same Yep, you know, the slide the pull weights of the slide, even though the guns are different, the actual the weight of pulling the slide is the same with both guns. The 44 and the 19 is, they're both the same slide pull. So, I mean, that, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. If you're, if you're smaller or not very strong, this is a lot harder to manipulate than a regular 22 typically would be. Okay. okay. Can't get it. Remember, you pull from the front. It's not good for you. But, well, this is kind of a good thing, because if you get good at running this... You can you, get better at running this, Yeah, too. you pick up a 19, and you're, you're good to go. Yeah. It is a little more recoil than a 44, but that's because it's 9mm, and yeah. it's a little heavier, so that's why it kicks back more. Yeah. It kicks back like this, instead of like, like this. And Speaking of 9mm, these 9mm mags for the 19 will fit right in the 44. And, and you don't even have to bump it too tight. Yeah. But one time, here's a really funny thing. Well, they don't, um, they don't, uh. But one time. But one time, um, my dad was handing me a mag instead of a 22 mag it was a nine millimeter mag so i tried to chamber it and it didn't go down the barrel i was like is this 22 too big and then i looked down and it's a gold nine millimeter bullet yeah look <laughs> i gave you a nine millimeter mag in there so uh, yep so the the mags are the mags do fit in each other's gun in the, each gun but the slides are not interchangeable. I tried doing that, and um, you can't put the 19 slide on a 44 lower or the opposite. There's something that's just slightly off about it. But they look they look exactly the same. And which mag did I put in there? That was the 9mm, yeah. So if you have both of these guns out, it's pretty easy to accidentally put the wrong mag in. Yeah. Um, but these do... These look identical on the inside internally. Let's take that apart. And they go to they go to part the exactly yep. the and same. And they both they both come apart exactly the same. And they both look exactly the same. It's um it's really neat how Glock did this. You can see they're virtually identical. The only the only time you can tell the difference is if you pick them up. The, the weight of the slides is completely different. This is a uh, polymer slide with steel inserts, and this one's solid steel, 19. But the two lowers are, you just can't even tell them apart. This is actually the 22, this is the 44. I mean, this is the 19, this is the 44, I think. Is it? I don't know. The only way I know is by the serial numbers. Yeah, so this is the Glock 44. Oh, and yeah. And this is the, the Glock 19. But Actually, my serial number has two letters of my name. A U A M U A U T U M N. Yeah. That's how you spell Autumn. Yeah. That's 
so loud. So that you saw how easy they are to take apart. So that yeah. means they're pretty easy to clean, right? Yeah. Easy to clean. You hear it take it apart? Okay. Yep. Just like it's exactly like any other Glock to disassemble it. Yeah, and watch. You can just take out the re like. You can just take it out and then slide the barrel out. It's kind of hard. And then take apart the Glock 19. Well, the Glock, I don't need to. The Glock 19 is exactly the same. Well, thank you. Yeah. And then. To put it back together. Oh, bottom one. Okay. And then you put it in like that. Yeah, and just like, just like any other Glock, it's got the two little shelves that the recoil spring could be on. You want to have it on the bottom shelf. Otherwise, it's going to give you some trouble. Whenever you try to put it together, you don't put it back. There you go. Good. So. And you, you can see the difference between the two mags. Big they, difference. They look yeah. different, but they are the same dimensions. They both fit in the same mag pouches. And then the, both <laughs> of these will fit in the same holster. Oops. We've been use the, using the Aguila 40 grain high velocity. Um, I think it's just as good as the uh, mini mags, and it's the same price as bulk pack ammo. So if you can find that, it's in a yellow and red box. It's called Aguila Super Extra 40 grain. That's the rounds we've been shooting out of it. We did have a few malfunctions. Um, in the first couple of mags, we had a light strike, which, I mean, that could have just been the round. Um, and we did have a stovepipe, and one time it didn't lock open. Didn't lock open. That's fine. But that's that's out of over 500 rounds. We we have between 500 and 1,000 rounds through this so far. Already. And yeah. Yeah. We've only had three malfunctions out of like 500 to 1,000 rounds. Yeah. You just have to pay attention when you're loading the mags. I'm sure if you've watched other YouTube videos on this gun, the mags. Um, you have to pay attention to how the rounds are stacking in there and just correct them as it happens. If they if they kind of nose dive when you're loading the mag, you just gotta tap the back of the mag and get it seated correctly. Yeah, then but you won't have any trouble. If you put it in backwards, that's a little more trouble to get it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't put them in backwards either. Yeah, because it's like it would probably take two minutes to get it out, two or one minute. Yeah.
That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Five, five, seven. Ready? Ready. All right, you ready? Ready. Five nine six. Ready? Ready. Five three four. Wow. And that was six rounds. I really appreciate um all you subscribers and I really like those comments that you left if you're a commenter. Okay. Okay. Bye. I think I got a leaf down with my last shot.